All right, Netflix pulled it off and has had a monstrous move today. At the beginning of the day, I put in some technicals in the Stocks with Josh Discord. I gave everybody the line in the sand. I said, if we cross this line, here's where we're going. Let me show that chart to you guys real quick. So it was all about getting above 741. If we could get above 741, the target became 764. And you guys can see right as we're speaking, we're getting ready to uh, break that threshold. We're getting ready to hit that. The reason why I wanted to take some time, some might say, well, Josh, you're showing us this after the fact. What I want you guys to really take away is that 7064 is going to be a reasonably strong resistance. Now, as always, if you break a resistance, you can expect a stronger move up and a continuation. At the moment, I'm expecting that even if we break through, I believe that by the end of the day, will likely come back under 764. So I wanted you guys to have those technicals. Now, the other day we played TSM, I'm traveling. I was able to pick up a 500% win on that trade. It was a massive, massive move. TSM, I talked about it in the previous two videos that I did, that I favored them for earnings and it absolutely exploded. I said that we were gonna get the opposite of what we got with ASML. I gave a prediction that we would go further down on ASML, we did. Now, this is a very short video today, just wanted to cover a couple plays, but the big reason why I'm coming on is to cover two more stocks. One of them's Nvidia and one of them's Tesla, and I'm gonna keep my analysis very simple. By the way, this is the Stocks with Josh show. I'm not in my regular studio, I'm actually uh, in Europe right now, I'm ahead of the market, and the market opens here at 3.30 p.m. in the evening or the afternoon, and the market opens, of course, on the West Coast at 9.30, and of course, I trade in Hawaii, and it opens up at 3.30 a.m., so my schedule's totally flipped. But appreciate you joining me today. Wanted to get on here and give you guys a couple technicals for NVIDIA and Tesla. I just want to remind you what's going on with Tesla. Tesla did not have a bad event. We Robot was actually an extremely exciting event where Elon showed off great technology. He showed off great technology, but he didn't really give a great timeline of execution for that technology. But it was incredibly impressive. And I believe that Wall Street, uh, based on the fact that we are at 220 right now, we're above 220, I don't see this selling off ahead of earnings. So I think that uh, earnings matter. We're gonna go through earnings here next week. And as long as we stay above 220, my target for Tesla, my near-term target for Tesla is back to 240 and possibly even back to 253. I will warn though, that if the earnings do not go the way Wall Street expects them to go, the line in the sand for Tesla, the line that we can't afford to lose anymore in 2024 is the 220 price. Because if we lose 220, then, then we're gonna have to come back to 200. That would be the target and possibly lower. But that's the range we're in right now. I did not, I considered the event a huge success. I think Wall Street's looking for a little bit more from Elon, but the fact that the price is still above 220 is super bullish to me. And I think that you need to be careful about shorting Tesla right now. We'll wait for earnings. We'll follow the market after we get the market's reaction to earnings. But Tesla remains bullish at the moment because the price is above 220. And as I've told you guys in previous videos over the last three months that I like Tesla at 220, that acquiring, if 220 holds, 220 is a decent price for Tesla. I want to remind you one more thing I said about Tesla. Uh, months back, I said that we would end this year right around 220 to 240. Now we've got two months left in the year and we've dialed right into the price point that I expected us to be at. Uh, but there's a lot of exciting things on the horizon for Tesla. And so I'm still of the mind frame that I want to be buying and accumulating Tesla for the long run on big dips. And so 220, if we're above it, I'm gonna be trading it to the upside. If we're beneath 220, I'm gonna be trading Tesla to the downside. Right now, it's bullish. Let's talk about two more things. One, Bitcoin. 
Bitcoin's pressing against all-time highs. That means our clean spark is up. It means coin is up. It means micro strategies is doing well, right? And I don't think the run for Bitcoin is over. It's if we do get a pullback going into this weekend, I don't believe it's going to be a major pullback. I believe that the bigger pullbacks are over. Now we're at the point where we're going to continuously beat up against the top of the range until we break through and make potentially an all-time high. That's what I believe is ahead of us. In my last couple of videos, and I don't want you guys to ignore the things I say on this show because, man, they're powerful. In my last couple of videos, I've mentioned the fact that I see a lot of reason for November to be an extremely bullish month. And so far, we haven't pulled back in October yet. If we do get any form of a pullback, I believe it's going to be the smallest pullback that we've gotten in the last three months. Okay, so August, September, and October, this will be the smallest of the three. And I believe it could be setting up for a buying opportunity. If we get any form of a pullback on Bitcoin, I don't believe it's going to be very deep this time around, and I believe it could be a great buying opportunity. I'm locked and loaded with a handful of cryptos. I have slimmed down the number of altcoins that I'm holding. I'm holding only a select few, and at the moment, my bags are loaded. I'm waiting for the move up, the breakout move over the course of November. We'll see what happens. I don't have a crystal ball. I want to remind you guys that all I'm doing is sharing with you what I'm doing with my money. That's all this is, is me sharing with you what I'm doing with my money. I'm sharing with you my charts and my reasons, and maybe some of it can help you. Maybe you can learn some of some charting if you're unfamiliar with it, and maybe my trading might give you a little confidence in your trading, but it's all for educational pur purposes. One last chart we have to look at, because I believe it goes very much hand in hand with TSM, and that's NVIDIA. I think that the closer we get to Q4, I believe that NVIDIA can be, we can be up at 160 on NVIDIA by the end of this year. And right now the chart's looking strong. And so I just wanted to bring that back into your focus. I'm gonna to go to the NVIDIA chart and show that to you guys. All right, we're looking at the four hour chart, which means that each candle represents four hours of price action. And obviously NVIDIA has been doing extremely well. This bounce off of 100, and we've consistently made a series of higher lows on NVIDIA. NVIDIA has been steadily climbing for a long time, and it's been a buy the dip play. And recently, at the beginning of this week, I dropped this technical chart in the Discord and gave everybody my game plan. I said that if we break down beneath 130, then we need to take greater caution because the trade has potentially reversed. I said if we close and push up above 132, it's time to jump into calls because we're getting ready to make it, a, we're getting ready to go and make a new all-time high. And you can see that's exactly what we did. We shot up above 132 massive buying opportunity but at the moment we are bouncing off of this key level of support at 136.90 and i think that overall the nvidia chart is just remaining in a bullish trend and so even though some could argue that it's a little bit frothy we've had a decisive breakout above 130 the trend is just continuing to remain bullish we back tested you know at 130 worked as resistance for a while we broke above it, we back tested it, and we are slowly moving back to test all time highs at around 141. Personally, I believe that by earnings, earnings is November 14th. Personally, I believe that we're gonna be sitting above 148 by then. So I wanna just make NVIDIA super clear. I want you to understand how I'm gonna be trading it so that you have no doubts whatsoever. I'm going to be in calls and taking calls only, I'm kind of done swinging shares right now of NVIDIA, but I'm gonna be taking calls forward towards earnings, right, and the belief that we're gonna be up around 148, 150. Now, if I, if I am underwater in those calls, I'm gonna be trading calls with time on them, maybe four to six weeks. I haven't taken the position just yet. I'm gonna be taking it here probably after this video. I spent some time charting NVIDIA and I felt even more bullish after I spent time charting it. But here's the key. I, you have my chart and you can screenshot it, right? Under 130 and the bullish story is gone. 
okay so under 130 the bullish story is gone right now we are slowly making a tighter price action pattern which i believe going closer and closer to earnings just like tsm i believe that nvidia is going to crush it and there's going to be this beautiful move up above its previous all-time high that's what i'm expecting at the moment based on the bullishness of the chart and uh, but this is not a suggestion for what you should buy sell or hold this is simply what i'm doing i've regretted not taking more risk on nvidia because nvidia has been ever since it hit that 101 dollars it's been steadily climbing back to all-time highs and i don't think it's going to go back up to all-time highs we and and fail there i believe we're going to make a new all-time high because they are just positioned for to finish 2024 extremely well they're positioned to just i believe to far exceed markets expectation to the upside giving giving the market exactly what it wants this is the market leader right now and uh, and it's showing its strength and it's done it in a choppy way it's done it in a very slow way but it's steadily steadily been climbing the closer we get to q3 here in q4 now we're in Q3, and I think we're gonna see great earnings, and I think we're gonna see an absolute new all-time high and a breakaway moment for NVIDIA. But again, I trade with a stop loss. And so if we lose the 130 price, that's the market's way of telling us that the up move has been put off for now. And so that's how I view the chart. I wanted you guys to have that today. Hope you were able to draw some uh, direction in these big tech companies in the market from this quick video. I'm traveling, but I'm gonna be connected with you. I'll be in the Discord. If you don't know what the Discord is, it's the Chart Goat University. Today, I live traded. Uh, I made 500 bucks in just under an hour doing live trading, and a lot of other people said they had made 30, 40% on the trades that we were in. If you guys need help trading these choppy markets, if you need help learning the charts, come join our community. It's not just me. When I'm not in the Discord, I've got a handful of incredible traders. I call them the crowned traders. And these guys are providing trades and giving guidance in each and every one of the channels that I've created over there. Come check it out, join the family. Uh, leave a link in the top pinned comment. Appreciate you joining me today. Peace and blessings, take care.